there are various methods for destroying enemy drones. You can use anti-aircraft systems with shells or missiles, create obstacles in communication and navigation systems. Some scientists are promoting the idea of a system with combat lasers, an alternative possibility is the use of directed energy. This direction has interested the United States military, which is looking for economical methods of combating drones. The American company Epirus, the developer of the Leonidas system, received an order for the production of prototypes for testing by the armed forces. For $66 million, the company supplied the United States Army with several Leonidas prototypes for testing. The U.S. Army is rapidly deploying promising technologies to fill defense gaps. The fight against drones has become one such gap that is difficult to fill with traditional defense methods. The Leonidas system is an electromagnetic weapon with directed radiation in the microwave range aimed at detonating electronics. The operation of the system causes the drone to simply fall as its electronics fail. This system is effective and cost-effective, and most importantly, it can repel an attack by a swarm of drones if they attack a target in one sector. In addition, the Leonidas system itself is compact enough to be installed on a striker armored personnel carrier. This also suggests the need for a Leonidas power source that can be placed on the chassis of the armored vehicle. Interestingly, the company Epirus is relatively young, founded in 2018, and it owes its success in the development of ideas and developments to the agency DARPA, which is the leading innovation and science center for defense in the United States. During the two years of its existence, the company received investments in the amount of $70 million, one of the investors was L3 Harris Technologies. In December 2020, the company presented the first prototype of the system and is now being considered as a possible weapons supplier for the U.S. military.